What if I told you that there is a secret technique that'll make you kill your enemy first every single time? You probably wouldn't believe me, right? Well, there is. Headshots are by far the fastest way to kill your enemy, but you knew that already. So why aren't you headshotting your enemies all the time? And yes, I know you're not doing it all the time, since your aim probably looks something like this a lot of the time. And yup, this is me before I started using the secret technique to hitting headshots consistently. So watch this video all the way to the end so that you can go from this to this. So what is the secret technique? Well, I'm not going to waste any of your time, so I'll tell you right now. The secret is to aim for the head. Hey, 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 don't click off now. Hear me out, hear me out. It's simple, but there's some depth to it. I mean, you just admitted to yourself that you don't shoot your enemies in the head, despite knowing that it's the fastest way to kill them. So it should be pretty clear to you now that when you're in an actual competitive environment, you are not actively aiming for the head. And instead, you are most likely relying on other aspects of your skill to get you kills. This might be good recoil control, game sense, strategy, or whatever the case may be. But if you're not shooting your enemies in the head and killing them in the shortest amount of time possible, you're leaving a lot of potential on the table. You are leaving yourself open to not only missing the kill, but also getting damaged and potentially even getting yourself killed. And at the very least, you are decreasing your chances of killing multiple opponents if you can't kill the first one fast enough. There are so many advantages to adopting a headshot focused shooting style that you might not even be aware of. Headshot kills will pretty much only use 1-2 to two bullets to kill. So you'll naturally be tapping or burst firing, which not only makes you more mobile when fighting and thus becoming a harder target to hit, but you'll also have a shorter reset time for your firing inaccuracy, which makes it much easier to get multi-kills since your follow-up shots are more accurate and can be fired faster. So now that you can see why it's so important to go for headshots, I'm going to teach you the secret technique to consistently hitting headshots. And this is to aim first, shoot second. I promise you it's simple, but you have to learn to do this the right way. Because if it were so easy, everyone would be doing it, right? You need to learn to actively go for a headshot and confirm that your crosshair is on your opponent's head before you begin firing. When you're engaging an opponent, it's okay to take a whole second or even two sometimes to align your crosshair before you click mouse one. Your opponents aren't going to kill you the moment that they see you. I mean, just think of how long it takes you to kill an enemy. I'm betting you're not killing them in 0.1 seconds after seeing them. Well, the same thing is going to apply to them. You'd be surprised how long an average gunfight actually is and this drill I'm going to show you to help you learn how to hit headshots consistently will reveal to you just how much time you have to aim before you are in danger of dying. So to practice getting these intentional headshots, you're going to need to go into a deathmatch so that you can simulate real gunfights with people. Going to a workshop map and clicking on the heads of bots is just not going to get you this skill since you need to be able to perform this technique in high pressure moments against unpredictable human movements. So free for all deathmatch or 1v1 servers are ideal for this. Also make sure that you don't choose a headshot only server because this won't give you the feedback you need and that's super important for simulating real gunfights. So now that you've loaded into a server, what you're going to be training yourself to do is to quickly locate your target on screen, move your crosshair onto their head, confirm your crosshair is on their head, and then shoot. And the headshot confirmation step is the most important aspect in this training, because this is what's going to teach you to have the intentional headshot aim. 
When you start this training, turn off your game audio to eliminate the noise distractions and to prevent yourself from relying on sound to find your enemies. I strongly suggest using the deagle at first because this will prevent you from acting out the bad habit of spraying at your enemies without confirming the headshot first. So here's a routine you can use to help you learn how to quickly confirm a headshot. Once you identify an enemy, do a two count. So physically say one, two, as you line up your crosshair before you take your shot. You might think that waiting like this will get you killed, but this is the point where you will begin to realize that you have so much more time to react and aim at your enemies than you thought. And having the audio off will really help you focus in this brief moment that you have to aim as well. And please keep in mind that this is just a death match and your score does not matter. Your performance is not an indication of your skill and you should never allow yourself to get tilted when you're having a focused training session. Your only goal should be to improve at what you're doing. So once you've gotten the hang of this and start feeling comfortable, there are a few ways in which you can progress in the training. First, you can work on reducing the amount of time that you give yourself to aim at the head. Try to get your crosshair on their head faster and try to confirm the headshot faster. Then, once you feel like you're ready to progress again, you can switch to an AK or M4 to practice aiming at the head with some automatic rifles. But when you do this, you need to make sure that you are not spraying and that you are shooting one bullet at a time. And all of your shots need to be intentional. You should not be satisfied if you kill an enemy without properly confirming the headshot. Remember, you're not here to get kills and practice your flicks. You're doing focused headshot aim training. Finally, I suggest adding the sound back in to help you get used to performing this technique with some audible distractions. Of course, doing all of this will help you learn to hit heads better, but the real challenge will be to continue to implement this in your actual games where you have a lot more factors to worry about and your rank is on the line. So make sure that when you're playing your rank games, you still take your time to confirm your headshot and then come back to this video to let me know that you've ranked up. And if you are still not carrying your games after mastering this technique, then you need to check out my last video where I teach you about how you can carry your games as a solo queue. So if you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing so that you can learn more secrets to mastering CS2. This has been your boy Nile, aka NYL, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.